guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you part two of the new gen arena unboxing. If you guys did uh, miss it, uh, within the first review, we took a look at the entrance stage and we also built the new gen ring. Uh, within this review, we're going to take a look at the alternate figures. So we have Diesel and Doink the Clown. Again, uh, Macho Man is included in the set for whatever reason. Mattel is shipping him at a later date. So if you did get on that early bird special, uh, don't fear, Macho Man is coming. I don't have a date, unfortunately. I don't um, have any info on that as of yet. But he is coming. Mattel didn't forget about him. I guess they just couldn't find a way to fit him in the box with the original plans. This was kind of something that they put together out of thin air and threw something extra into. Kind of make it a more enticing uh, offering to us. So Macho Man is coming. But for now, the two ultimates we do have are Diesel and Doink the Clown. You can see the packaging on these two uh, really do follow suit of the Amazon uh, exclusive figures with more of the red instead of the white, uh, which is really on the mainline Ultimate figures. Uh, but they do look great in the packaging. And here's one interesting thing. They are not taped. So we'll, we'll get into that as we go. I know a lot of people are having questions where um, are people getting the boxes taped? For some reason, this one was not or both of these were not, uh, but taking a look at Diesel, see it does come with the interchangeable screaming scan versus the straight face scan on there, the iconic vest and the interchangeable hand. So a little light for an ultimate figure, but Doink on the other hand, he does come with three heads, the mallet, uh, the interchangeable hands, the jacket. I'm excited to get that out of the packaging. And they do look great in the box. Again, you get the Old Mission logo, the nameplates at the top. You can see on the very top of the box, Old Mission logo here, you got Diesel. And you can see there is the clown on the top. Flipping over the side, you got the nameplates, WWE logo on the bottom. Flipping all the way over, you get the images of Diesel and Doink. Looks really nice. My favorite part of these Ultimate Edition packaging, the, uh, the back of the box, you get the nice figure photography with Doink the clown doing his laugh, and the actual image of Doink. If you do want to, to at the read up, you can pause down there and take a look. And same for Diesel with his stats. Looks really nice. And here's what I was talking about. The boxes are not taped. They just open right up. You can get the figures out. And you know, while we're at it, let's take a look at the little Easter eggs on the top. We'll get Doink out of here just for space sake. See, it says Big Daddy Cool on the top. And on the bottom, it says Diesel Power. And same with Doink, was not taped. The box just opens. Again, I don't know why they went with that choice. So if you're a mock collector, I get it, you're not gonna be too happy. He's got ha 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 on the top and on the bottom, hoo hoo hoo. Okay, let's come back and we'll officially get these guys both out of the packaging. So first we're taking a look at Doink the Clown. The accessories included with him are two open interchangeable hands to do his kind of like hands off pose. You also do get two fisted hands and you get two different Head sculpts, separate from the one on the figure, so three total. You can see they all do have a different hair piece. Now, mind you, this was a similar feature that we've gotten with the prior Elite Doink, so the hair pieces actually are removable. You can see that, and you can put whatever piece of hair on whatever head you want. So I wanna say this is a new skin. I don't know if we've had a pissed off or kind of like straight face evil doink look going. I know this head was used on the Elite 34 and I want to say also on the Walmart Heartbreak Hotel uh, build a set uh, doing the clown. I think those are the only two we got. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's been a lot of series with, with Mattel, but I'm pretty sure this is the head they used. The difference with the hair and we will do some comparisons. Uh, you can see the nice shading. It's definitely a darker color. The Elite 34 had this bright green hair, uh, but you do get a different scan and again, the hair does pour out pretty easy. So if you wanted to throw the long hair on the laughing skin, or if you wanted this kind of Afro look on the more straight face, did I do that wrong? Of course I did. Sorry, I put it upside down. <laughs> um, that's how that would look. So again, very easy, very interchangeable, uh, and definitely a lot of different options. Personally, I think everyone was really itching for this head scan. Uh, we'll get to the mallet in a little bit, but this skin, I think to me, is like iconic doing kind of like doing his little laugh, the hoo hoo he um, kind of face. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this hair on. I, I always liked kind of the long hair look on there. And again, this afro is bigger than the one on this head. So if you want to get all three side by side, there you go. You can see the difference in each scan and the size of the hair. Let's go ahead and swap that hair out because now I'm curious. So take the big afro out, 
throw the longer hair of oh, that. That I definitely think that's how I'm going to use uh, the display option. Personally, that's probably what I like best. Um, and we'll put the bigger afro on this doing again they're all really nice to me this is just something so different uh i really do like it uh, additionally i just there's so much involved with it you get the mallet i do like this i feel like this is something we probably would have got with a bray wide had he stuck around but some nice detailing to it nice little sculpts in here you can see some uh kind of like indentations in there i know it's, it's kind of hard to see but you can feel it um some nice little wraps around the handle itself Nice little sculpting up at the top, too, if you can see it. Really nice. Not too heavy, so I, I don't feel like this is going to tip your figure over. Um, I do like how that came out. Really good attention to detail there. And look at this jacket, man. He's got a little pin on there. Shoot some water out of it or something. Uh, looks really nice. Got some buttons on the front. A little collar, and you got a little multicolors going on up there, too. More buttons on the back with a tailcoat split this is really nicely detailed look at the inside of this jacket wow now i did notice this there is plastic wrap around the arm so i don't know if that means it could potentially stain or maybe they just started to get ahead of the game and say hey we have a, a limited amount of these we don't want to have to uh have a bunch of replacements with potential um staining let's remove the hands and you can see underneath there they do have the plastic wraps, which we've seen with Jazzwares AEW figures. Got oh, his hands in there a little tight, got it finally. Remove the jacket. Again, the plastic wrap, I do like that. Um, again, that kind of worries me. Should I display him without the jacket? Comes right off. Is this a little staining? No, it looks to be some like maybe off the fabric. I don't know. That kind of worries me. Maybe I will display him without the jacket. You can see the nice details there. Let's get some hands on them. Let's swap them out. This, see, this is like a display I'd want to have him going with, like with his hands out. But I feel like that mallet is too awesome to not display. It's like, whoo -wee! that's so awesome, man. I really like the way that looks. Uh, let's put him back real quick. And I just want to look at the jacket off of the figure again. Nice detailing on the inside, some great colors, nice stitching. This feels really nice. Um, very quality, honestly. It really does. It's really nice. Uh, but again, with the plastic wrap, I don't know if I'm going to actually display them now. Maybe I'll throw that on my Elite if I decide to keep it or what. I don't know yet. But taking a look at Doink himself. Look at the nice detailing. Got the tie. He does have the butterfly joints too. You can see a little bit of his chest here creeping out. He's got a little bit of that belly. I really do like that. And then I don't think we've seen an alternate with that that belly so is this a, like a new sculpt i think it has to be right double jointed elbows he's got the star the star is going down his tights the white do like the red i think that, again i said this before this has got to be the next evolution pinless leg joints i'm sure it's in the works i cannot wait for that uh but not too noticeable on this figure here some nice detail on the back very clean for the most part you know that's what i was worried about i'm big on pain apps um so i hope diesel is just as clean butterfly joints feel nice and tight not too loose i do like that um let's swap some heads out let's see how this looks and again i'm not gonna put every different head on our hair piece with each head but just to give you an idea swap the heads on here there's one version you got the laughing skin again this is one we've had prior and the more straight scan that's that's awesome man this looks really good i do like how that came out again just such great detailing to it he does also have the toe articulation didn't want to point that out just a solid figure it looks really good no complaints here and i do have the elite 34 doing let me bring him in so i don't have the walmart figure uh i never bought that heart heartbreak hotel set i never actually saw it in stores uh but i do have the elite 34 figure and this is one of my favorite doinks, but I don't mean, obviously, the ultimate without question uh, is going to be the better of the two. And here are the hair pieces, so if I can find a way to fit all these in my hand, those are all the heads. And again, you can see the difference. Actually, this is painted a little different. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Or maybe not. Yeah, a little bit of different paint applications. Maybe it's a little darker, but definitely the hair. 
that's what I wanted to show. Who has the freaking long hair? There it goes. Uh, just so many pieces here. Uh, you can see the hair piece and how the bright green versus the more shaded one definitely looks a lot nicer. Definitely more attention to detail. And hell, I got the bucket with this doink. Maybe you could throw it on this figure if you want. But just some different variations. Real quick between the two doinks. Very solid figures from Mattel. And in case you're wondering, here is the entrance coat and mallet on the Elite 34 figure. And yes, the hair pieces are interchangeable. So if you do like more of the brighter uh, hair pieces versus the shaded uh, darker green, you can swap those out too. Next up, we have Big Daddy Cool Diesel himself. So he is a little lighter on accessories from what we're used to with the Ultimate Edition line. So you do get a set of fisted hands. The other one is on the actual figure. And you get a set of mic holding hands. You can see the nice kind of cut out uh, knuckles on the biker glove. Uh, looks really nice. And the only other thing you get is a screaming interchangeable head scan. I don't even know if I really think the likeness is the greatest here. I do like the hair. Diesel had some awesome hair, man, back in the day, the jet black, cool hair. Uh, so that I feel like they did capture something about the scan. Doesn't quite look 100% like Nash. Uh, you also do get the entrance vest that is on the figure itself, an elbow pad. But other than that, that's all you get. And bringing the figure real close, I want to compare the head scans. I can see a likeness to Nash. Honestly, this looks a little more like Bradshaw to me. Like, I don't know. From the side, I can see Kevin Nash, but it looks like uh, Bradshaw from the APA right here with that hair. Uh, he's kind of got that bug eye look uh, on this skin. I don't know if I'm really, like, the biggest fan of either, but it'll do. It, 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 I can see the likeness there. Uh, the vest looks great. We have seen this before. Uh, got the nice silver designs and the studs on them going all the way on the back. We got the tassels that hang off on you. You guys can see that. Really do like the vest. Again, we've seen this prior many times before. It is removable. Take it right off. Very nice and easy. The butterfly joints definitely do help. And we'll take one more quick look before we look at the figure itself. Again, I do like that. Uh, so this, I feel, is definitely a new torso design for the Ultimate Edition. I do like that in this set. Uh, not only Doink, but also Diesel. He's got the straps. He's got the bigger chest piece. Unfortunately, it is the painted skin tone, I feel. Because I can see the black seeping through on the shoulders a little bit. Looks to be painted. I guess there's only one way to really find out. Oh, it's molded over here. No, it's painted. If you look on the side here, you can see the black. But the actual butterfly joints themselves which are nice and tight i will i wonder if these feature the um i know mattel had stated that they're making subtle changes to uh, the old mission figures where you're not going to really notice them like by looking at them visually but i know the butterfly joints they're supposed to be using a different plastic because a lot of the earlier ones like stone cold and rick flair had really uh, loose butterfly joints so i wonder if this is the new plastic they were talking about definitely feels a lot stiffer a lot nicer look how clean that diesel logo looks to me i feel like we really haven't gotten the most definitive Diesel. I mean, the first one was what, Elite 16. He had that silver top and uh, the black pants. Not my favorite look. Then we had the one that had the Big Daddy Cool look um, with a nice long hair. Uh, but there was also that other one. I think that there was there is an Elite that had the Diesel, but it had the shorter hair from his earlier run. I wasn't a big fan. This To me, this is iconic Diesel. Uh, his WWF Championship run. Unfortunately, the one thing I feel like this figure really is lacking is that championship belt, which I do have an extra on. We will slap them on eventually. And I get Mattel probably couldn't include it for the budget, um, for what they're giving us. Uh, I'm sure, but they figured a lot of people can have easy access to a WF championship belt. So that's why they probably did not include it. But he does have his tattoo. Scroll that uh, elbow pad down. Even got his forearm tat. That looks really nice. I don't know about you guys. Have you noticed on a lot of these double jointed elbows lately, on the, especially on the bigger arms like Hogan? It's a little bit of gap. Even the new Ultimate Goldberg. I don't. I wish they would clean that up somehow. Uh, it doesn't really look the best from time to time. You can see the gloved hand also has the knuckle mold in there. It looks really good. Uh, typical Diesel Kevin Nash figure. He's got the tassels going down the side. Nothing new here. wonder, is he finally on ball joints? He is on the ball joints. Uh, I know uh, a lot of the early Kevin Nash figures had that issue where the legs were breaking because they were on those other ratchet joints. Very simple, very clean looking figure. No complaints here. Uh, let's swap the head real quick. Popping this on. I want to be careful because it is painted. I don't want to have 
too much paint rub. That looks pretty good. I feel like that would probably be the head I use to display. His arm's a little stiff, but you can get him doing his iconic pose. I do like how that came out. And for our diesel figure comparisons, on the left, I believe that's a Target Network Spotlight figure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is correct. I definitely know it is a Target exclusive. He does have the Big Daddy Cool logo down the middle. There is a, I want to say Hall of Champions. Again, I'm getting wonky with these series that had the all black diesel look, but he had that earlier, shorter haircut, kind of the more of the mullet look uh, versus the jet black um, long hair look versus these uh, elites here. Uh, again, the old mission in the middle, and on the right, we have the Elite 16. Never really cared for the silver uh, silver top or gray top uh, diesel figure here, but you know what? I had in my collection for the longest, so could be better, and I feel like the evolution has definitely gotten better. I mean, look at the head scan from this figure to this one, uh, and obviously with the new uh, old mission figure, but bringing them in real close. Even look at the gloved hands. They were painted on now. They're actually molded in there, so that is progress in itself, and you know what? While we're at it. Look at the straight face scan. Definitely more of a likeness. I never really cared for that little kind of lick in the hair or whatever that is. Just doesn't look as good. But again, there's your comparisons with your diesel figures. And just for fun, here's a quick group shot of the click together from their new generation days. Before we wrap up here, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. For the guys new channel, thank you so much for checking out this video review. I hope you guys have enjoyed and will subscribe and stick around for more reviews coming up down the road. Uh, coming up, I have the newest Amazon Ultimate Edition Goldberg and the new ringside exclusive Cameron Grimes figure. So stay tuned for those reviews coming up next. These two figures are great. Uh, I know if you guys did not back this new gen arena, uh, you're not going to be able to grab them very uh, easily. They're going to be pricey. Uh, I feel like with Doink, we're not going to see another re-release of this. Uh, he comes with a claw jacket, the mallet, all these great accessories, the heads. And it's an Ultimate Edition. I don't think this is going to ever see a major retail release. Maybe you can see a Mattel Creations re-release of some sort down the road. But I'm going to say this is one of the few we're going to see as an Ultimate Edition. And just to note, I went back and actually threw the plastic pieces on his arm. I'm a little concerned about the staining. That's my only real gripe. I don't even know if it's a gripe. I guess we'll, we'll tell over time to see what happens if uh, that paint bleeds or the dye bleeds into the figure. Hopefully that will not be the case, but... Anyways, I did want to mention I threw the plastic pieces on there because uh, I only have one of each. I regret not buying two um, to you know, have one to play with or, you know, use for uh, figure photography and one to display. But these are display pieces only, the only ones I have in my collection. Diesel, really nice and clean. If there's one complaint, I wish you would have came with a belt. But you know what? I have plenty of extras, so that I made that work. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video review. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. Uh, and I will catch you all on the next one.